I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but this is my very first asparagus that I'm picking in 2024. And this is the second one. Oh, there they are. I'm going to have them for dinner. So on this lovely spring night, I'm going to make a lovely spring dinner. It is going to be a vegan version, but you can also make it non-vegan by adding a little bit of Parmesan cheese. What is it? It's going to be some pasta, whole grain pasta, tossed with some fresh asparagus and some bok choy and a little, a few little kale leaves with some lemon balm sprinkled over the top. It's going to be delicious. Nothing could be simpler, really. I've just picked a couple of asparagus spears. This is for one person. A few little bok choy, a little bit of bok choy, any kind of greens will do. And a few little kale leaves, a couple of cloves of garlic and some olive oil. Add that with some salt and pepper. Now I am using some lemon balm that I dried last year, but you can also use basil or any nice springtime kind of herb. Um, nice fresh herb is will work as well. I very quickly slice these greens. They don't have to be sliced small. If you're getting them from your garden, you want to make sure you don't have little slugs or anything like that. These asparagus are fairly slender, so I'm just going to cut them on the diagonal. They're so tender. I literally just picked them moments ago. And then I'll be taking my garlic and mincing that up as well once I've got it peeled. These are itty bitty little cloves. So for one person, one good size clove, these are just teeny little ones. Kind of like the very last ones from last year or from the, my harvest, my 2023 harvest. This is cooking from the garden for sure. Everything except the olive oil, the salt, and the pepper has come, and the pasta, of course, has come from my garden this year's as well as last year's. These bok choys and kales um, had wintered over uh, from, I planted them, well, the kale I planted last spring, and it just, you know, continued all year. It's about to go to flower now. And the bok choy I planted in the fall, and it overwintered. You can see on this leaf, it has a tiny little bit of frost damage, but that's not going to hurt. That won't hurt a thing. See, this is the beginning of a kale flower. Now, kale flowers are just fine to eat. You know, when you eat a broccoli, it's a flower. So I'm just going to go ahead and saute this one just like it is. We're just going to boil the water for the pasta, put the pasta in, let that cook. Whole grain pasta takes a little bit longer to cook. Um, I like to use whole grain because it's just so much better for you. And I'll let that cook for, you know, about 10 minutes. And then at about the 10 minute mark, when the pasta is almost done, I'm just going to saute all these other things for about one minute. That's all it takes. Oil is hot, actually a little bit more than medium. And I'm just going to throw in all of the vegetables. Whoa, it makes a big noise. Saute these around. Just a very short time. Look at the color. Colors of spring. All right. Here comes some pepper. A bit of salt. And here is the lemon balm. This is dried. You can use basil if you like. If you have fresh herbs, you can use that. I don't have any fresh herbs this time of year, unless they come from the store. And I'm just going to saute those around for about a minute. Keep them moving so they don't scorch. Once done, I'm just going to throw them onto the drained pasta. With a fork, I'm just going to sort of mush this around. Is that a technical cooking term? Not really. And I didn't put this in the ingredient list, but I am just going to throw in, because I want the protein, um, a handful of pine nuts. If I had almonds, I would use those as well, or walnuts. Any kind of nuts, really, will add some protein to your meal, as well as some crunch and some flavor. Doesn't that look pretty? Now, this does look just about perfect. Perfect for spring. And I'm going to go ahead and eat it and see how it is. Hello, Tiberius. My cats always like to come up and help me eat dinner. Mm.
It's tasty. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you like growing food in a garden and gardening, and you enjoy cooking what you grow, this channel might be for you. So come join me. Thanks so much for watching with Tiberius's tail. Take care. Bye.